It's A to the O, letting you know that things are about to get a little bit slow. Oh no. Oh yeah! We're taking a little break and having some fun in the sun. But don't worry, we'll be back with brand new episodes on Friday, September 14th. Get back here on Friday, September 7th for a special video featuring all the winning submissions. Whoa! Thanks for the heads up, pear! Orange, what are you doing? Duh! If you don't flip over, you're gonna get a bad peel! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the rest of you tangerines back here in September! And until then, surf's up! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? Good, I've got the kitchen to myself, and nobody will know that I'm totally gonna read those Twilight books again. I still love you, Case Stu. For the last time, my name is Apple. Hey there! Please take a chair! This episode of The Juice is beyond compare! Ugh, enough already, dude! What's the matter, Pear? Yeah, what's the matter, Pear? You know very well what the matter is, Orange. Dude, you've been listing off things that rhyme with my name all day long. Things that rhyme with pear, I do declare. Relax, you'll run out of rhymes eventually. Just tell us about today's episode. Yeah, please share. <laughs> okay, okay. So today, Extreme Kakarot wants to know if you could go anywhere on vacation, where would you go? Whoa, you're saying we could go anywhere? <laughs> Yeah. Seriously though, great question. Hope you're thirsty, fruit lovers, because I want to know, what's another rhyme for pear? <laughs> I'll kick things off by answering the vacation question. Whoa! Cory can't seem to keep his derriere on that chair over there. Orange! No, he's right. Whoa! I keep sliding off the couch like some kind of buttless wonder. Ugh. New butt arrives Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to then. Whoa! Just out of curiosity, how is it being delivered? By ground or by air? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Well, I know where I'd go on vacation, Madagascar, because it's as far away from Orange as I can get. Madagascar? I didn't know we could pick movies. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was a place before it was a movie, Corey. Oh, sorry. I lost the geography side of my brain in the accident. You know, Pear, you could get further away from Orange than Madagascar. Really? I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of the world. Who said anything about staying on the world? Oh, Whoa. that's true. Pear, you could go to the moon. Or Mars, yay! Totally. Pear, you should get a one-way ticket to Pluto. Okay, easy. Now it just feels like you don't want me around. Hello? Now would be an appropriate time for someone to say, nah, we want you around, Pear, or something like that. If I could go anywhere on vacation, I'd stay right here with my friends. Uh, <laughs> seriously, though, where would you actually go? Jamaica, obviously. Little Apple, where would you go? Um, I don't want to say it. Uh, why don't you want to tell us? Is it some place you're embarrassed of? Is it somewhere secret? Is it something that rhymes with Pear, like Delaware? <laughs> Orange! No, it's nothing like that. It's just, okay, well, I visited 49 state capitals and I kind of want to take care of the 50th. So which one's left? <sighs> Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to say it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that answer was straight up hilaire. <laughs> hilaire? Don't you mean hilarious? Nah, it's a new slang word I whipped up out of thin air. Stop inventing slang terms that rhyme with my name. That's fair. Ah! Corey, where would you go? Well, mine's a bit weird, but you know that haystack over on the other side of the airport? Yeah, why? There, that's where I'd go. Whoa, whoops, slipped out of my feet again. <laughs> so you'd go to a haystack next to the airport? I think Corey lost the half of his brain that makes sense. See, for me, it's not about the destination, it's the journey. And for me, it's all about how I get there. On my sweet hog, of course. No way! Are you saying you want to jump over an airport on your motorcycle? Heck yeah, it's never been done. Whoa, I was gonna pick Waikiki as my vacation spot because it sounds funny, but watching Corey jump over the airport sounds way better. That's not how the word better is pronounced. Nah, I like 
my way better. <laughs> hey, can I change my answer too? Watching Cory jump his motorcycle sounds way more fun than Arkansas. Yay! Can we watch Cory jump over the airport right now? Wow, I wasn't expecting so much enthusiasm. Well, I do just happen to have my motorcycle in gear and ramp here, so... Do, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Okay. <laughs> wow, I guess this is happening. Open the studio skylight! Corey, if you don't make it, just know that you were like a half-brother to me. Thanks. That means a lot. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Whoop, fell off my feet again. <laughs> Man, I could really use that new butt right about now. Um, guys? Well, crew lovers, I was hoping to end today's episode on a more triumphant note, but I guess there'll be no such fanfare. That's okay, Orange. It was a good episode anyway. Guys, I think the motorcycle is loose in the studio. Man, I was so ready for something exciting to happen. That's such a bummer. A real bummer, indeed. That's not how it's pronounced and you know it! Also, there's a motorcycle loose in the studio! Really? Where? There! Ah! Ah, there's another one! Ah, and another one! Ah! Hey, hey, Bear! Not now, Orange! I'm a little busy extinguishing all of this TNT! But it's time for how to! Uh, does it look like I have time to do an episode right now? I'm up to my non-existent ears and TNT mitigation, dude! They're everywhere! <laughs> Whoa! You're barely holding on by a thread, aren't you? <laughs> pear, pear, pear. But that's why I think today's episode is for you! How to go on vacation! A vacation? Well, that sounds nice, but impractical! Pear, pear, pear. Let's just take it one step at a time. Start by picking a destination! <sighs> well, I'd love to visit the living room. But then again, it's so far away from the kitchen, I'd have to be running back and forth constantly to put out TNT. Maybe I should stay closer to home. I could visit the window, maybe, or the sink. I hear the dishwasher is nice this time of year. Now, come on, Pear, think bigger! What do you mean? Like, the bathroom? Like Bermuda, Bahamas, somewhere free of drama! I guess it would be nice to go somewhere warm and with less TNT. Then it's time for step two. Don't think, just book a plane ticket no matter what it costs. That doesn't sound like very good advice. Here's your bags. Have fun. See you later. Bye. Step three. Hang out on a tropical beach. Well, wow. Okay. I'll admit, this is nice. No TNT, no stress, and most of all, no signs of the annoying... Orange is here. <laughs> uh, great. Now for step four. Wait, quiet. What's that noise? Is that TNT? Here, that's the ocean waves and the breeze. Oh, sorry. You were saying? I was saying step four is self-care. And with that in mind, I got you a little something. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for, Pear? It was just a cake celebrating four years of how-to episodes. Oh, I apologize, dude. After four years of being on guard about TNT, it's become an instinct. And that's exactly why we're moving along to step five, try to relax. Oh, when you're right, you're right, Orange. This is nice and, huh? <laughs> That was a scented candle, see? It even has relax written on it. Oh, oh my gosh, what's happened to me? Easy, you're stressed out. But not anymore, because you're officially on vacation from How To Episodes for a while. You're right, thanks dude. Doing four years of How To Episodes with you has been, well, it's been a blast. But as of this moment, I'm gonna chill out. I am hereby 100% over TNT. You can say that again. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, put this one way in the back. Hey, hey, you guys finally doing that road trip you've been talking about? Yep, we're really doing it. <laughs> you want to come with? Where are we going? Don't know yet. I'm just going to throw this dot at a map, and wherever it lands, that's where we'll go. Ah! Oh, right in the Oxnard. <laughs> owie, 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 owie! Okay, this might sting a bit! Ah! Santa Barbara, that hurts! Sorry, bro, just doing the old dart at the map thing. You understand. <sighs> you know what I don't understand? Why didn't you just ask me where to go? You? Are you a travel agent or something? Oh, pretty much. I've been all over these 50 nifty United States of ours. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> 
I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota. Okay, we don't need your life story, bro. A simple recommendation would be fine. Well, I'll tell you this much. Don't go to Oxnard. Not this time of year, anyway. That's wine country. They're crushing every grape in sight for the next few months, and any fruit in the area is liable to become collateral damage. Wow, I had no idea Central California was so dangerous. So let me ask you this. Where have you guys already visited? I mean, we don't really get out too much. Not since the old Nerval days, anyway. Okay, so where, might I ask, is this kitchen located? Where are we right now? Um... Um... Hold on! You guys don't even know where in the world you live? If I had to guess, I'd say right there! Oh! You hit me in Louisiana! Nothing gets by you! <laughs> uh, how about this? What's somewhere you'd like to go? Oh, oh! Little Apple wants to go to St. Paul! I do? Sure! You'll feel right at home in Minnesota! <laughs> I think we should tour the Northeast. Boston, Lexington, Gettysburg. More like Gettysburg. <laughs> uh, Orange, you have no sense of history. Do you even know where the Declaration of Independence was signed? Sure, at the bottom. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay. Let's plan a trip for the Northeast. But once we get to Buffalo, I say we wing it. <laughs> uh. Does he always make bad jokes like this? Buddy, that's the best joke he's told in weeks. Okay, might I offer a suggestion or two? Cause I've been all over these 50 states and there's so much to see. Sandy beaches, spectacular vistas, lighthouses, windmills. Ooh, windmills? I'm a huge fan. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what do you guys think about visiting the Pacific Northwest? Could be fun. Say, what's the capital of Washington? You. <laughs> Stop! Say, you know what's nice this time of year? Kansas City. Sounds good. Whoa, really? You all agree on Kansas City? Sure, why wouldn't we? After all, Missouri loves company. <laughs> oh, listen, can we just hit the road already? I can't stand being cooped up in this kitchen with this orange. <laughs> Somebody just phone me up and we'll be on our way. Okay, let's see here. No, the other way. Um... The other, other way. Little help here, fellas. Little help? I know just the apple for that. <laughs> Orange! Do not bend me that way. I do not bend that way. Sorry, bro, this is way. just really hard, and Enough! This is not working out. The folding, the puns. I think it's just best if everyone just took a deep breath. Okay. There's no reason we have to leave right this moment. I just want to relax, collect my thoughts. Let's just put a pin in this. That's right, you guys. Let's put a dart in this. That's not what I... Oh! What up, fruit lovers? Aaron Orange here with another fruitacular episode of How To. Orange, we've done so many of these How To episodes. What on earth will we do next? That's easy, Pear. Yeah, that's right. Today we're showing you how to go to Disneyland. Wait, but isn't Disneyland kind of expensive? Yep, and since we don't got doll hairs to spare, we're doing this thing on a budget. Well, that sounds good to me. Then let's do it to do it how to it. Step one for getting into Disneyland for cheap. Pretend you work there. What? Pick a Disney character with your body type and see if anybody notices. All right, employees. Don't forget to clock in. Well, uh, hold up. Did we both dress up as BB-8? Well, duh. None of us have arms or legs. Who else are we going to dress up as? Well, I think they're going to notice when two BB-8s try to get into Disneyland, dude. Hmm, you're probably right. But fortunately, there's another way. Step two, butt rush the gates. Wait, 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 what? Come on. He can't catch both of us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two BB-8s, get back here this instant. Oh, I think we lost him. Now switch him to a different costume so he can't find us again. Wait, ho hold up. Did we both dress up as Elsa? Uh, whoopsies. Two Elsas without limbs? I don't think so. Ah, come on, Mr. Gateworker Man. Let us go. Let us go. <laughs> Very funny. But if you want to enjoy Disneyland, you'll have to pay. Same as everybody else. Whoa. Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Not to worry, Pear. I've still got step three up my sleeve. Beg and plead shamelessly. Please. Disneyland is my dream. 
Dweem? Is pronouncing your R's not part of step three? Nope. Don't pronounce any R's or L's under any circumstance. <laughs> yeah. Please, Mr. Gigman. If I don't get into Disney Land, I might cry. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't cry. Here, let me find you a tissue. And now that his back is turned, it's time for step four. Pop rest the gates again. <laughs> 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 Talk about a bum wash. <laughs> uh, well, you did it, Orange. You got us into Disneyland on a budget. What should we do first? See Mickey? Go on some rides? I want to see some fireworks. Well, they don't do those until it's nighttime. Oh, and what the heck did I just like? Huh? <laughs> Yo, I'm here for the free trip to Hawaii. You and me both. You guys are all worried this thing's like a scam, like a free trip to Hawaii. You don't see that every day. You think it's legit? Hmm? Well, only one way to find out. Hey, we're here for the free trip to Hawaii. Who's running this thing? I am. Huh, a mysterious disembodied voice is running the thing. Oh yeah, it's legit. Welcome all, thank you for coming. Please, gather within the circle. Yeah, and what if I don't wanna? Then you don't win the trip to Hawaii. Ah, that makes sense. Hold up. All we gotta do is stay inside the circle? <laughs> well, that's the easiest thing I've ever bought out my vertigo! Off balance bar has been eliminated! Uh, dang it! Every time! <laughs> Whoa! This voice dude plays for keeps! Indeed! The last person remaining in this circle wins a trip for two to Hawaii! Well, everybody get comfy. Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, especially since Orange isn't here. Totally! Can you imagine how hard this would be if Orange was playing? We'd all be scrambling for the exits by now! <laughs> Admit it, you thought I'd probably pop up! <laughs> oh, no! come on! That's not fair. Orange is so annoying. I'm not annoying. I'm an orange! <laughs> Also, I'm a brand new trumpet player. Wanna hear? No! no! Is, is he playing it from the wrong end? That's somehow even worse. Uh, how are you guys holding up? Eh, okay. It's pretty annoying, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not like we have ears. Yeah, well, maybe you don't, but I do. Whoa! Well, I didn't think of that. Tough draw being a literal ear of corn while Orange is learning the trumpet. I cannot do it. I am out. I am out. Corn has left the circle. Five remain. Make it four. Little Apple, you're leaving already? Pear, we both know how this is going to go. These other guys don't know Orange like we do. A trip to Hawaii isn't worth what you're going to have to endure. I'm out. Nah, you won't reconsider? No! Not even a little? <laughs> ah! Little Apple has left the circle. Four remain. Hey, Pear! Pear! Hey, Pear! You gonna leave the circle next, Pear? No way. I'm not worried. I've seen everything you can do, dude. Have you, Pear? Yeah. I'm ready for whatever annoying tricks you've got. Okay, then, Pear. Wait, where's he going? Why'd he leave? Also, why'd he say my name so much? I have no idea. Oh boy, that's really gonna gnaw at me. Hey, Bopato! That's not how you say my name. Tabapo? Potato. Potato! Potato. No, ah, uh, now you've got me doing it. Whoops, how slilly of me. You, you did it again. You're saying words wrong, slightly wrong. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I hope this doesn't make you leave the circle. It normally wouldn't, other than the fact that you've been naked this entire conversation. Seriously, am I the only one seeing this? Well, you're the one with the most eyes, Potato. Ugh, I can't take it. I'm out. You guys can have the trip. Potato uh, has left the circle. Three remain. Hey, guys. So it looks like we're the last three remaining. I'm Pear. I'm Pineapple. I really hope I win, because it'll be a great chance to see my family. And I'm Schnozberry. I really hope I win because, well, obviously I need a procedure done and there's a really famous doctor who can do it in Hawaii. I can imagine. There probably aren't a lot of surgeons out there who are able to reduce the size of a nose that big. Who said anything about reducing my nose? I have a severe case of jaundice. Oh. Oh. Schnozberries are, of course, supposed to be green. No, yeah, I, I totally knew that. No, you didn't! Guys, is my nose really that big? 
<sighs> Listen, here's the deal. You both need the trip more than me, so I'm gonna bow out. Really? Yeah, this way one of you can win the trip, then take the other one as your guest. That's right. The mysterious voice did say it was a trip for two. Smart idea. Thanks, Pear. You're welcome. I'm just glad to get out of this circle before Orange busts out his entire bag of tricks. The kazoo, the motorboating, the tongue touching, the nyanyas. The farts? The farts, the mega zoo, the... Ooh. Everybody hold your breath! <gasps> I gotta say, this episode is a real gas! <laughs> oh, you hold it up! Uh, not so good. Oh, wrong time to be the only one with a poor nose. Whoa, hold strong, dude! The way is within your grasp! On the plus side, you might not even need the procedure. You're looking really green. Am I? Oh, thank you for saying that. That's really kind of you to- <laughs> Oh, whoa! Schnozberry has launched himself uh. out of the circle. To remain. Well, this is the part where I leave and let you win. Have fun visiting your family in Hawaii. <laughs> Oh, my family doesn't live in Hawaii. I said I was going to see them, not visit them. Yeah, we do a weekly Zoom call, and I figured why not do the call from a tropical beach instead of my studio apartment. What? Okay, that's it. I'm going for the win. But you promised. I don't care. I need a break from Orange as much as anyone. Probably more than anyone, in fact. And that's why I'm not going to tell you about the Mega Zoo. Yeah, you keep mentioning the Mega Zoo. What is it? It's about three inches directly behind you. What? <laughs> Whoa! Looks like he might be flying to Hawaii after all. <laughs> Pineapple has been Mega Zooed out of the circle. Pear wins the trip for two to Hawaii. Yeah! Woo! Thank you so much. I needed this bad. Wait. Why are you giving one to Orange? It's a trip for two. You and Orange. Woohoo! Pear, we're gonna have the greatest time, Pear! What? Uh, I don't get to pick the other person? Sorry, I don't make the rules. Yes, you do! Pear, what should we do first in Hawaii, Pear? Oh, Pear, we should go parasailing! <laughs> Stop saying my name so much! Shari! And pronounce words correctly! Okay! And put your peel back on! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>